Before we begin, this video assumes that you have downloaded Logitech G Hub and you have an Octave profile for demo because that's where most of the figure reading will take place. Otherwise, let's begin. Open up demo, click on config, controls, joy one under arcade one. Now, if you have an existing settings for your PS4 or Xbox controller, you can click alternative settings and it will not override those mappings. Now, how do we configure the steering wheel for left and right without having that infamous joy zero underscore analog six underscore key, which pretty much interrupts everything. That's when Logitech G Hub comes in. Click on your steering wheel and set your operating range to 900 and make sure you have centering spring in non-force feedback games enabled and set it to 32 or lower because it will make it easier to button map the steering wheel. Now, how do we configure it the left? Turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. Oh wait, hang on, Logitech is bugged out. Click on assignments, then steering wheel, and there you go. Now you can see the steering wheel. Now, once again, how do I configure the left side of the steering wheel? Turn the steering wheel to its maximum left, hold it, and then click on left. If you do it right, it should say joy zero analog zero. And if you do it incorrectly, you'll get the six. Same applies with the right. Turn the steering wheel to its maximum right. And while holding it, click on right. And if you do it correctly, they're both mapped out as so. Now, how do I configure the shift up and shift down? Let's say I wanna configure my flappy paddle for shift up, which is push one. But I get this infamous joy zero analog six, which prevents you from mapping. Well. You hold the shift up and then click on push one. The same applies with push two, which is shift down. Hold shift down on the flappy paddle and then click on push two. The same can be said for coin. Let's say I wanna configure it on a different button. Let's say L2. I hold L2 and you click on coin. I think you get it at this point. All right, now comes the nitty gritty part and that is the pedals. Click on pedal sensitivity in Logitech G Hub and make sure you set it to combine pedals. To configure the accelerator, hold the accelerator pedal down and then click on up. And it should say analog one. And to configure the brakes, hold down the clutch pedal, not the brakes, and then click on down. And if you do it correctly, down should be analog six and up should be analog one. Last thing you wanna do is you wanna set the operating range to 270 and the centering spring strength to 32. This is all preference. You can change it whatever you want. And that is it. Hopefully your steering wheel and your pedals work in initial D arcade stage three. And I'll see you all later. Wow!